Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mike Reed here and welcome back to another toy review by yours truly. So tonight, um, I was out shopping t tonight, um, well, this afternoon. Um, so basically, um, I should probably mention this in my previous video, but, um, uh, uh, this coming month, February, in this case, 13th, I'm going to be going to a ROTC military ball with my friend. So uh, today I went to Men's Warehouse and went to get me a nice tuxedo, not a tuxedo, a suit. And uh, yeah, I got you ended up getting several students to have buy one, get one free sale kind of thing. So that was really good. So definitely looking forward to doing that um, next month. Um, but besides that, um, also if you're wondering who my friend's age, it's my friend Christopher. Um, he's also known as Ninja Kara Zero Zero Gaming here on YouTube. So definitely check him out. Give him some love, guys. He doesn't upload all that often. When he does, he always does his best. So make sure if you haven't already, check him out. Ninja Kara Zero Zero Gaming. He is awesome. So anyway, um, really nice, really nice guy, just like me. So yeah, besides that, so I went out to Target also um, after you know having grabbing some grub, and um, I found me the brand new season of Bakugan Battle Planet, in this case, what's called Bakugan Armored Alliance, you're about to see. So today we are going to be looking at Bakugan Armored Alliance Dragonoid Ultra Pyrus, the Bakugir starter of the same guy, and Trox. So let me actually bring all of them into the view here. So we're going to be reviewing all of these today, and starting off with, we're going to start off with the small Dragonoid, and then we're going to move on to the bigger guys. So moving the other two out of the way, let's bring in Dragonoid Ultra. So as you can see, the brand new box art for Armored Alliance looks awesome. So awesome. So for this one, they're kind of sticking towards the more Takara Tomy side of things. As Takara Tomy has a very different, has a, has a similar yet different art style. So as you can see, it has Armored Alliance there. And as you can see, it has Dragonoid here on the box, which looks awesome. The brand new look for Drago. And, um... As you can see, we got the toy in there, the brand new Dragonoid, which as you can see, yes, they do now have these symbols on the ball forms, just like Battle Brawlers, which is awesome. So, and as you can see, also the back of course are now shown on the box here, not in like the corner. And uh, they have changed, which we'll go look at that in a minute. So we have Dragon Ultra, Bakugan Ultra, and it also comes with now the Bakugan Gate Trainer, which is this brand new sort of thing which they're using, which basically helps kids master the, the rolling of the ball, basically. So, and if you are wondering, in terms of competitive, um, in terms of the competitive scene, Armored Alliance is is cross compatible with Battle Planet. So your Battle Planet Pokemon are still relevant with this one. So you can use those in the game along with the new ones, which is awesome. So as you can see, Dragon Ultra, as you can see, it comes with the cards in there. And what's nice is it also shows Dragon Ultra on the box there. Like it's like it just it, it, it it's a lot clearer to see who it's, which character it is than the other one where it kind of had where kind of had the names of a couple, but then the other ones were left as like mysteries. So pretty cool. I really like to see the look here. So let's pull them out of the box and let's see what we get. So inside the box, we do get a brand new what looks like instructions sheet, packet, whatever. The brand new Baku cores, uh, which we get two Baku cores in here. We get a Fire Fist core, brand new Fire Fist core with the new effects on it, which you can see the, the new effects are so much nicer than the original. Definitely, as I could say, like I said, it's definitely going towards the Japanese version style where it has the sigil there. As you can see, it also has the plus five damage rating there. So awesome. And the second one we also get is a regular shield one. Or just, no, no, it's not magic shield, it's just the shield core. And then we also get plus the under beats effect from this. So pretty cool. And then also inside you get your Dragonoid Ultra, which let me see. Actually, he has a rubber band on him, and I didn't even notice that. Also, from the box. So looks like I'm going to need a pair of nippers to open that up. Okay, so I can get it. Ah, there we go. Okay. Probably move my bin over. Yeah, I'm going to move my bin, trash bin. Just so that's easier. Move it next to my desk so that way it's easier to dispose of the garbage. Okay, so. Okay, so now we can get the Dragonoid Ultra out of there. Okay. And we'll unfold his feet here because he cannot fully transformed. And oh, the arms need to be unfolded and the horn. Right, there we go. So there's a new Dragonoid there. And before we open up the packet and take a look inside, 
That's Loka Dragonoid uh, Ultra himself. At Ultra Dragonoid this time around, he looks so much better. I have to say this right now. Armored Alliance, I think, has the best new designs going forward for, for Battle Planet. This is looking really good. Oh, and also something else you can do is you can also fold out the wings, but that's mainly for the Baku Gear, which you'll see in the next couple packs what those are. So, uh, basically, if you don't remember New Vestroya for any of my older Bakugan fans, that's basically what this season is, basically New Vestroya. But, oh my god, this art style just looks so much better. And look at the tail and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, let me get my other Dragonite Ultra so you can see the sheer difference between these two because oh my god the art style just looks so much better so much better not to say that the original art style wasn't wasn't bad it had a very strong design but nothing like this oh my god this is just incredible so yeah let me bring out um in this case i'm gonna bring out hyper dragon in this case yeah i'll just bring out hyper and let's see will he open it or is this is this hyper dragon Oil? Nope, it's regular Dragonoid, never mind. Okay, just the size the one I wanted, actually. Regular Dragonoid. So as you can see, there's the regular original Battle Planet Dragonoid Ultra next to it. And as you can see, the designs are just so much different. They really are. Let me get them in the better light. There we go, that'll help out a lot. Better lighting. Yeah, look at that. Look at the difference between those two. Look at that. Let's see, will that actually get it even better? Is that even better? Yeah, that's way better. Look at that. As you can see, the design is just so much different. It's so much more lifelike than before. So, I'm assuming it flips the same way. But, man, it just looks so much better, this one. So, let's see how it actually transforms. I think I, I don't think even the instructions. I think I can kind of figure this out. Okay, so that folds in like that. That folds in like that. That folds in... Okay, this part folds in. Oh, this part folds around like the front. Oh, this is way different. Okay. Ooh, this is way different. Oh, this is funky. Oh my god, this is so neat. Okay. So this all folds up like that. Okay. Okay, this folds up a whole lot. There's a lot more complexity here. Okay, there we go. I think I actually closed it. Yes, okay, so that's what the ball form looks like. Look at that. That looks so much cleaner. And also something else, there's not as many nubs on this one. Instead of like the original Dragonoid Ultra, which had those weird bumps on it uh, for some odd reason, this one is so much cleaner. Oh, Battle Planet's, uh, Battle Planet's second season, Armored Alliance is definitely... Um, I should have just said Armored Alliance. Armored Alliance is definitely fixing up a lot of the issues that Battle Planet had. I'm really glad that they're fixing that um, with this one. It just looks so much cleaner, so much better. And just and the, and the figures just look so much more like they're supposed to look like in the show. So that's really awesome. So let's get a look at the trainer card and everything. So yeah, here's the trainer card. Now something interesting is the trainer card is similar to a, a Bakugan Battle Brawler card. As a matter of fact, let me get a Battle Brawler card out here. So as you can see, it's definitely a lot more akin to the Battle Brawler's card. Except as you can see, it's just a hair bit smaller. It does have metal in it. So it, so it does have metal in it. And what's even nicer is in the back... It has a nice print of Dan Kuzo along with Drago on the back, which is awesome. The pirate symbol and Armored Alliance printed. So that's really awesome. Really like the fact that they're bringing back to somewhat Battle Brawlers as cards for this one. This is a also, look at the new card art for Drago. Never look at that ever. thing. That is awesome. Look at that. He looks so much cleaner now. He has a B power of 900, which is so much better than the original one, which I think had 300 Bs. And then plus two damage rating. So definitely awesome. And as I said, this Dragonwood is cross-compatible with your Battle Planet stuff, so that's a nice change from the original one, which you couldn't do that. Pretty much have to get rid of your old stuff. Oh, and also, also comes with a Baku Gear card here, which is this case Pyru Hammer is what this is. This has plus 100 Bs. It also has this new symbol, which I have no idea what this is. This new symbol. No, it also has plus 12 damage rating. Also, new symbol there. Pyrus logo, and it also has a six energy cost. So very cool. Uh, let's look at the new pamphlet inside. I know we don't show off the pamphlets, but for but for Armored Alliance, I think I should show off the new pamphlet just so we can see what to look forward to with this one. And the pamphlet, as you can see, is huge. So the pamphlet, okay, so it just shows the general rules, stuff and stuff like that. Comment. What does that say? Oh, this is, oh, this is in different language. Okay. Okay, so basically it says here, like, the battling rules, how to use the Baku gear, how to roll, how to brawl. Um, how to win, that kind of stuff. Now, does it come with a pamphlet that shows all the new Bakugan coming in? Oh, yes, it does. It does include also an instruction guide in here, so you can 
Uh, so you can see how to transform Drago back and forth from monster mode to ball form, which is awesome, just like the original. Actually, the colors are much nicer on this one and actually more akin to what you actually get in the box. Let's go look at this pamphlet here. So this pamphlet does show all the new Bakugan on there. So you can see it shows here from, from uh, top left to bottom right. I'm just going to read them out here. We have Ramparian, Dragonoid, Enoch, Batrix, Halcor, Hydrus, Nilius, Pegatrix, Cyrus, Gilator, Traitorous, which I actually saw at the store as well, Traitorous. I didn't get them though. Trox, Oxilator, Centipod, Dragonoid, Core, Halcor, uh, this, kind of this time a Core one. Cycloid core, uh, Hydrus core, Samoga core, Nilius core, Feral core, Trox core, Pegatrix core. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, definitely looking forward to the new stuff. But yeah, let's see this guy transform into action. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can demonstrate that on here. Dang it. Okay, didn't work all that well. But you kind of get the idea. Okay, actually, no, we could try one more time. Let's do, let's do one more. Let's do one more try. Okay, so just gotta fold him back up again, so how did, it, how did it work? Okay, yeah, it goes like that, right? Oh, shoot. Wait, they don't want to fold the wings out, yeah. Keep the horn folded in. Okay, the horn's a little bit more, this is a bit more loose on this one. But yeah, oh my god. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, alright, okay, I see. Okay, uh, the feet stay down. Stay down. There we go. Okay, so let's try open it again. Alright, Bakugan Brawl. Oh, shoot, that was really bad. Hey, there we go! Dragonoid opened. Awesome. Okay. So let's just fold him out and we'll keep him on the side here. But yeah, that is Dragonoid Ultra. Oh, he looks so nice, this one. So nice. Although, something that is kind of more a complaint, though, small complaint, is that there's more foldable parts. More fold-out fold -out parts. So... But, but, you know what, that's a small little niche complaint. You know, I'm not complaining, it's new. This new stuff, it looks clean, it looks good. I, I, I There's no reason to ah, complain. Shoot, drop the phone. Ah, uh, that's professional. Good job, me. I actually bumped it. Okay, um, let's put those all to the side. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep the card there. There we go. So the next one we're gonna look at is the, is the Pyrus Dragonoid set with the Pirate, with the Magma Blaster. So, um, in this starter box, you can see, now has Dragonoid in there, but also shows his new set of weapons, the Magma Blaster. Also has the, um, whatchamacallit, the thing there in the corner, uh, what's it called? Bakukor, wow, I can't even think of that. Oh, and also something else is that now shows Dragonoid with the Magma, um, Blaster, Blaster, not, not Baster, Blaster on his back. Wow, I can't, I can't speak. All right. And in the back, it also shows him fully open there, transformation, difficulty, cards, what you get in the set. And also has a promotion for the other toys that are coming. So, pretty, pretty cool, man. This is, I mean, Armored Alliance, man. This is looking really good. Like, I'm going to keep saying that the whole video. This is awesome. I'm really looking forward to these. Uh, for, the, for, the, for the other ones. Especially Cyrus. Cyrus looks awesome. It's like this heavenly dragon creature. It looks really cool. Hopefully I can get that one soon. But of course, this is just a starting release. Of course, we're going to get more as it, as it gets more popular and becomes more widely available. Uh, as from what I've heard, but Armored Alliance has kind of been niche in some areas. So hopefully more countries will start getting these. Because these are awesome stuff. So this is, so for those who aren't, you know, for those who aren't in the regions where it's out, this is kind of like a huge sneak peek to what to what you can be looking forward to for the next wave of Battle Planet. Because, oh my god. <laughs> these look awesome. Not gonna lie. I mean, for basically uh, New Destroyer version 2.0, gotta, gotta admit, this is awesome. This is actually cool. Alright, so let me see if I can get out the weapon in here in the Magna Blaster. There we go. I have no idea how you activate that. I'm assuming you just pop it on there and it'll just kind of automatically activate. I have no idea. We're going to have to figure that out uh, together, guys. It's probably very simple, but, you know, I don't know. I don't want to break it. So, okay, so we open up the pack here. All right, so inside we get another one of these packets again. Get another one of those. And then we get a basically an exact clone of Pyrus Dragon and Ultra again. Same thing with the 900 Bs, all that cool stuff. Um, so nothing different here with this Dragonoid, just the same guy um, as before, so nothing really new there. But uh, the feet are tighter on this one, though. I will admit, the feet are tighter on this one, and uh, what else? Anything else different? No, nothing else. Oh, and the horn's stiffer. The horn's stiffer on this one than compared to that one. I'm guessing that's just a quality defect. I have no idea. But, um, okay, so this one has the... 
bucket gear on it. So let's take a look at that. So this is the Pyro Blaster, Magma Blaster, not Pyro Blaster. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it just snaps on, it just magnetically transforms. But of course, I'm gonna look at the instructions to make sure I'm doing this right. I don't want to break them. So, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, it also does have the Dragonite Ultra card. Same thing as the original that we just looked at. Also comes a Pyro Hammer as well. Interestingly enough, not the actual Magma Blaster card that I was thinking it was going to get. Same puff as before about the rules, so I don't need that. Actually, I will save an, a copy of them. Let me grab that out of my trash. So I will save a copy. So that way I have them. So I can just add that to my little collection of pamphlets. And let's see, how do you put on the armor? How do you do that? I'm assuming you just slap it on its back and it'll just transform. I'll safely presume. I think that's how it works. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Okay. Because from what the box shows, let's look at the box, let's see. Uh, did the box show it just kind of like on its back? Or is it just kind of on there? Yeah, looks like it just plops onto the magnet. Okay, so let's do that on this one. All right, so let's give this a go. One, two, three. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you slap it on there and it transforms. Oh, that's cool. Let's watch that again. Let's watch it again. Okay, so we plop it on its back. Oh, that's cool. You plop it on its back and it transforms. Oh, that's so neat. And then the other blasters can go on the wings there. Oh, this looks so cool. Wow. Okay, this looks really interesting. Looking. Look at that. That is Dragonoid with his pyro blasters. Now, look at this muscle, this muscle machine. Look at that. Oh my god, let's get that in a good light. Look at this sick looking dragon. Look at that. Does it that look incredible? Those blasters look insane on it. Oh my god. Let's see, does it have B powers on it? I would simply presume it does, but, oh, that's so neat. Does it have Bs on it? No, it doesn't have any Bs on it. Okay, so I'm guessing you don't use these in battle. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did say, Spin Master did say that you don't have to use these in battle. The cards will pretty much stand in place for them. You don't actually have to put the armor on them. But, yo, that looks awesome. So, yeah, so that's really cool with Armor Alliance. Is that, the, is that the magnets just strap onto their back? So, no clipping in, none of that, like you did back in New Vestroya, where they had like the little pegs on them and then they were plopping it in. Nope, you just strap it onto the magnet and it transforms. That is sick. And the shields, from what it looks like, yeah, these are the, basically the exact same. Oh, wait, no, they're not the exact same. The cores are actually different, as you can see. It does have a, uh, let me do the bare light. There we go. Fire shield. And it does have now, instead of the just the standard plus 5 damage rating, now it also has a new weapon icon and then minus 1, um, what's it called, energy cost. Yeah, on that one. So, pretty cool. And this one, instead of having just plus... Uh, instead of having plus 300 Bs like the standard Dragonite Ultra, this one has plus 200 Bs, and, uh, which is 100 less than, the, than this one. And it also has the new armored weapon thing the bakugir symbol i'm assuming that's what that means and then minus two damage cost so pretty cool pretty pretty cool um definitely digging that all right so let me just put the armor back on him just for this just for you know significance there so we can tell the difference there we go strap it on the weapon transforms and then we just put these on the wings and then we're gonna have our nice armored up dragonoid yeah oh god okay there we go yeah that looks so sick that looks so cool guys uh i hope you guys are digging this stuff guys i really hope you guys want to see more armored alliance because i'm most certainly going to do more reviews of them i mean because i mean look at this stuff this just looks awesome brand new drago with with brand new shiny weapons that he gets to just that he just gets to pulverize other bakugan with oh lord definitely looking forward to that man so okay and for some reason he doesn't like to stand right yeah because his tail sticks out too far yep that's definitely an issue oh well just the feet there we go okay so last one we're going to look at here is the trox with the ventus cyclinator so let's open that up and let's take a look at the new trox because trox definitely changes a lot in this one i would say i think this is the biggest change for trox i would say so, all my Trox fans out there, this is definitely going to be the biggest change for you guys. So, 
Uh, oh, and also something else to note is that in this in the sets, um, in the actual starter sets, Baku Gear sets, I don't, know what I don't know what the official term for these are yet, since these are just brand new, as I said. Um, these the, they don't come with the trainer cards, only the, the with the trainer card, only the core ones come with trainer cards currently. So that's nice, I guess. So a nice little tie-in bonus to kind of justify the price tag. So. And this one also has a plastic band. Okay, gotta cut that off. Boop. Okay. There's Aventus Cyclinator, and looks like they're already opened. Oh, wait, no, they're not. No, they're not. They're not opened yet. Okay. I'll just say, they already come open, so that's kind of lame. Because you're supposed to open them up like when you get them out. Okay, then we have these little what look like claw attachments or missiles. What the heck are these things? Eh, well, doesn't matter. And so we'll figure that out once we pop trucks out. Also, this is my force, my force first Ventus trucks. So pretty awesome. I, I get Ventus trucks at Armin Alliance. So let's let me unfold him a little bit. And let me unfold him fully, actually. And there is the brand new trucks for Armin Alliance. And I have to say, all I have to ask is, what the heck did they do to trucks? <laughs> He looks so much different this time around. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not, honestly. This design, I'm mixed. Like, for starters, it definitely looks a lot more like a like a T-Rex. I almost call it a Triceratops. I'm dumb. Okay. And something else that's nice, the jaw opens. That was something that was a huge complaint about the original Ultra. The jaw doesn't open. This one does. The arms are a lot smaller on this one. And the feet are stupid big. Look at these dumb clompers. Look at these clown shoes. Ugh. As you can see, it does have the Ventus, um, the, the faction symbol on there. And it does have 500 bees, so definitely a lot less than Dragonite over here with his 900 bees, this freaking Chunkosaurus. Anyway, so, um, or this, or that powerhouse over there. So, uh, let's see how the armor clicks onto this guy. So I'm assuming it just clicks onto his tail, right? Yeah, let's see if it just clicks onto his tail. Hang on, let me see. Let me look at the box. Let me look at the box and see how it works. Yep, judging by the look of the box, yep, it just clips onto his tail. Okay, just as I thought. All right. Bam! Okay, ah, that's how it works. Okay, so it just clips onto his tail. Cool, cool. All right, and then these big friggin' missiles just click onto his back. Okay, like so. I right, just clip these big missiles on there. There we go. And now Trox is armored up. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? So he has like these big spinning missile shield things on his on his on his on his body that he can use to attack with. That's sick. That looks awesome. So uh, let's see. I have to figure. I kind of have to figure out how Trucks Ultra f transforms now. Okay, so I know how these transform. You just pop this off. There we go. And then you just flip the top down and you fold the. Oh wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Mess it up. Flip the back parts back and then flip that down. There we go. Okay, so that's the armor transformed. And we have that. So very much more simplistic than the other one. Well, actually, the armors are very simplistic so far. Nothing really complicated. Let me just keep them in the frame there. Okay, so how do I transform this? I'm going to try to figure this out without any help. Okay, so looks like the head falls down. Looks like, okay, this is, oh, uh, <laughs> this is funky. Oh, wait, he actually has more fold-out parts on his feet that I didn't look at. Okay, well, I can do that once he opens up again. And then we, ah, uh, there we go. Look at that. That's trucks fold up. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so again, very, very simple. No, it's complicated. All right, don't need that instructions anymore. It's time to figure it out. So there's his new Trox Ultra card. As you can see, Trox looks awesome this time around. Again, nice redesign on this one. Definitely looks a lot more organic than it does technological. So I dig that a lot. So it has. Um, I think this one has actually a nice balance and a better balance between techno and organic. Even though actually in the Bakugan lore, this is actually an exoskeleton similar to like beetles and stuff like that. So it's actually like an exoskeleton. But anyway, that's besides the point. Who wants to? Who wants? Who wants to learn science in a toy review? Um, so this one has 500 bees on it. Nice, and also has a five damage um, damage rating. So awesome stuff. And he's Ventus uh, faction. And also, he also comes with the Baku Gear Baku Mortar card, which has this plus S symbol. I forget what the S symbol stands for. We have plus 300 Bs. We have the Baku Gear sigil or symbol, whatever you want to call it. And then you get the plus 6 damage rating. 
and plus five uh, energy cost with the new symbol on there, which looks awesome. More the defensive symbol. So uh, let me just pop him open real quick. Let's see, how does he roll? Okay, he rolls this way. Bakugan Brawl. Shoot, come on. Go. Dang, didn't transform correctly at all, but there we go. Wait, did I roll him right? Is that the arrow? Yeah, it is the arrow, okay. So it's just kind of a weird transformation. All right, so let me just fold him out properly this time. So you fold out these little parts on his arms, and you have these little flippy parts on his feet. There, ah, there we go. There, there, there we go, there we go. Is that is that it? Yep, that's everything. And there is your Trox Ultra. So then you bring out the, oh yeah, and fold the jaw open. There we go. So there is your Trox Ultra, and they put the buckle gear on him. Shoot, wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way. That was completely wrong. Okay, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing so good at showing off just how cool these toys are. So okay, strap the magnet back down. Weapon pops open. There we go. Okay, and then we bring in the giant missiles because yeah, I tr uh, a T Rex with 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 a giant with giant jaws and a tail that basically serves as a whip really needed freaking missiles. But okay, this is Japan we're talking about, so you know who cares? Who cares about you know realism and um in this stuff? But yeah, so there is Trox Ultra, all weaponized, so he looks really cool. I then bring in my Orlis Trox from the original Battle Planet, which I'm gonna have to open on a separate buck core here. Let's see if it'll open. And of course, he never opens up properly. Okay. So here's my original Trox Ultra. I guess I don't have him invented. This is the best I got, or less. So as you can see, there is a difference between those two. Definitely a huge design change there. Definitely like the fact that he's no longer a Chonkosaurus anymore, who's just staring at the sky. Now he actually looks at who he's actually. Now he's actually looking at what he's supposed to be fighting instead of just staring off into the sky at nothing, which is a huge plus for me. Because that was always a problem with Trox for me was that he was never always he was never looking at his opponents he was always staring at the sky just you know like just without a care in the world when you know he's supposed to be fighting other monsters <laughs> you know in a kaiju x gods you know like a sort of Godzilla battle kind of thing so glad he's actually looking at his opponents for for once jeez so. That's pretty much it, guys. That is pretty much it for Bakugan Armored Alliance. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Let me know you guys enjoyed this. I already said that. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys in the next video. There we squad, and have a good night.